What's up, witches? It's the Zen Witch here with a long overdue video on how to cleanse and consecrate a brand new divination tool, whether that's an oracle deck or a tarot deck. And also included in this video is how to make the Fire of Azrael, which you see me use in my unboxings. Uh, first thing I want to do is get my charcoal lit so it has a chance to fire up. And then I'm going to start with a deck here. This is a deck that I am getting ready to review that I have not yet consecrated. So here we go. So cleansing just means to get rid of any energy that's residual that comes with the deck from the factory, from people handling it, from your mail carrier, from whenever it might have picked up along the way. So you want to first start with a clean slate before you consecrate. So we do that. I do that. with some sage. And I just blew my match up. Mm -hmm. I'm still drinking my coffee, so there we go. Doesn't want to catch today. It's okay. All we need is a little bit. So I will start by cleansing the outside of the box. You know that sage and cedar um, dispel negativity. Ew. Okay, I'm going to review this deck. I'm going to shoot the, the unboxing of this right after this, so I'm not going to make any comments on the deck. Watch me. Watch me struggle with that. And my fire has gone out. Good gravy. Usually I have the opposite issue with this sage. It is so very well dried and cured that it burns like mad. And that's okay. I'm not trying to rush through this. So when you, when you consecrate and cleanse something, you want to get yourself in a nice calm state, you know, focused, meditative, able to move energy. All right. I let it go out by itself this time. So then we let the book, we want to cleanse the book and the information in the book. And we want to get the deck out and run it through as well. So this is the air and the fire. Air kind of clarifies and cleanses the communication aspect of the deck. Did I do the inside of that? I hope. And the fire charges. Okay. And then, why am I putting it back? I don't know. Then we want to use earth and water, which is, I use ocean water. If you don't have ocean water, use some tap water, consecrate that. Blessed be, creature of water, may all hindrance and malignity be removed from you and only goodness and purity remain to my purpose. Or, um, I cast out anything negative in this water. Let only goodness and purity remain. You choose the words, but make sure that the words talk about Casting out anything negative, dispelling anything negative. Dispelling is the opposite of a spell. You dispel, so undo any um, negative energy patterns that might be clinging to it. And then, um, so the earth and water, I th did I short circuit myself there? I don't know. So the air clarifies the communication, the fire charges, the salt water, the water cleanses and blesses the emotional end and the earth is the salt and that makes it whole. That's what I was saying. So use your own words to clarify, to cleanse just regular tap water, um, rain water, tap water, you know, any water that feels good to you, but still you want to cleanse it. And then um, if you are making your own salt water, 
bless the salt. The salt is already pure. It just needs you to bless it, bless it to your purpose. So I have earth and water together here in ocean water. And we're going to do the book as well. And the box just to be a vessel that holds it. All right. There's that part. And um, I also have pure water here. We're going to have air and fire here again with the fire of Azrael. So you can do any way you want. You can put a crystal on it. Um, and looky here, I have a crystal. I'm going to set the crystal on that while I show you this next part. All of these things by themselves work. Uh, here's another thing that works. You can give it a sound bath. Bells clear negativity. That's why churches have them. Bells uh, dispel demons and just any negative entities. All right. Now, Fire of Azrael. This is something that I learned about from a, a novel um, called The Sea Priestess by Dion Fortune. I was positive I had this book in my shelf. Um, I went looking for it. No, it's on my wish list on A Libris. I haven't yet purchased it again, but I read it back in the 80s. So it's it's dim, but there's a character named Morgan Le Fay and there's a lot of, you know, actual ritual magic in it. A lot of which was over my head at the time. I was such a newbie, you know, and and I want to read it again now because I have so much more experience and such a deeper understanding. So, Fire of Azrael equal parts sandalwood this is chandan powder sandalwood powder i think i got this from amazon uh, you can go to local indian markets if there's an indian market close to you you might even get it i don't know if there's a, a nepali market or i don't know but um places that use this and this is called chandan powder because it's indian so i have this beautiful chandan powder and then i have cedar the brand is Incense of the West. I don't think there's anything left in here. Oh, there is. Yay. So this is what, um, and it's falling to bits. So it comes in a little bag. Let me show you with the juniper. So that's the cedar. Here's the juniper. Same thing, Incense of the West. I'm sure you can order just cedar powder and juniper powder. Um... I find it, I like this because you can also just burn these by themselves. So this is the form that it comes in. These little pressed uh, pellets almost, brick, they call it a brick. So you can just hold the, the flame over until you light the brick. This is uh, 40 bricks in a box. I think those were somewhere around 10 bucks. But you can take an equal number of juniper bricks and an, you know, and cedar bricks. So if you do five of each, um, stick one, you know, a bunch of them in your pestle and just give it a little pound. They're just compressed sawdust, basically. And you can do, I mean, obviously I'm pounding it and compressing it, but look at this. Take a couple of pounds. I'm just pulling it apart with my fingers. So if you don't have an, a mortar and pestle, you can easily do this by hand. You could also, um, you know, put them in a plastic bag and whack them with a rolling pin. Anything to, you know, once you get it broken away from that brick, then you can do the grinding motion like that. And you're going to end up with sawdust. Equal number, like I said, juniper and cedar. You can measure each of those. So do, you know, how many juniper things you want. Measure how much you have of that. Do the same number of cedar bricks and then make a measure of sandalwood powder and mix it together. So easy. That's all. So here's my little container of Fire of Azrael, all nice and powdered. And before I do that, so that's that's the cleansing of the deck, is the air and fire, the water and earth, the bell, 
blowing on it. So when you're getting ready to read, that's when the blowing on it part comes in for me because that's my the breath of life coming into it. And also connecting with my breath because that's where the messages are going to ride out is on my breath. So that all makes sense to me. So when you go to consecrate it, offer pure water. I offer you pure water and ask my allies and ancestors, guides and guardians to be present and make this a true vehicle of divine wisdom. I offer you the fire of Azrael to bless this deck, to bring in the magic of divination, connect with cosmic purpose, with cosmic law, and May my actions in shuffling and asking for answers trigger cosmic wisdom. So mote it be. And with the, you know, with the salt and water, I always talk about blessing and making whole. So the earth element is manifestation. It is what makes whole. Look at me. I'm in a I'm in a wash of smoke. I'm behind it. It's between us, so I'm not choking to death here. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That is just a very um, quick and easy how to bless and consecrate a deck for your use. Of course, make it so it makes sense for you. You can go out and lay it on the earth. You can, you know, walk it next to a river with the river, with the water flowing by, which is a psychic conductant. Um, again, you can use your crystals. You can put it in a grid. So many ways to do this, as many ways to do this as there are witches shuffling cards. <laughs> so I hope you got something from that. I'm so sorry it's long overdue. And you can look forward to the unboxing of the Goddess Power Oracle. Like tomorrow. <laughs> Until then, this is Luna the Zen Witch. Blessed be.